Following the elections in 2017, the UK left the EU on 31st January 2020. This began a transition period that will end on 31st December 2020. Till then, the UK remains in both the EU customs union and single market. So, till 31st December 2020, things will remain the same. However, after 2020, there will be several changes traveling to eu from 1st january 2021 there will be new rules to the eu switzerland norway iceland passports need to be valid for at least 6 months and it should not be old than 10 years you do not need visas for short trips to eu countries you can stay up to 90 days in in any the eu countries no longer than 180 days entering into the uk will not change till 2021 if you have an eu settlement scheme you can enter uk with an eea or eu national card till 31st december 2025 if you are a member from the uk living in the eu countries you need to register yourself in that country also you need to declare cash more than 10000 pounds might not be able to use an existing pet passport you need to follow the guidelines at pet travel to europe from 1st january 2021 free roaming might change from 1st january 2021 If you are in business you may need to make a customs declaration if you take goods to sell abroad you need to get an e o r i number to make goods moving between uk and eu countries kindly note it might take you up to a week however these rules might change soon If you're living in the UK for the end of 2020 you can still continue staying and working as usual as you fall under the withdraw agreement but in order to stay and work in the UK you need to have the EU settlement status you can continue to work in the uk unless you have the valid documents you should have the permit to work in the uk please note eu settlement status is really very important you can apply online by downloading an app eu settlement status is not only for the eu citizens as well for their family members of other nationals who belong to the eu citizens if you live in the uk for less than 5 years you get pre settled status and after 5 years you get permanent settled status this is exactly how it looks like please send me a comment if you want help to do it also visitors to the uk don't need an international driving license ever the rules for license might be changing if you live in the uk before the end of 2020 lawfully you can use the nhs as you do now after that date if you are not a resident in the uk you might have to pay for the services Thank you for watching my video. If I get any updates, I'll do inform you guys in my next video. Please like, share and comment. Thank you very much.